Hello Dearborn Heights residents. We're doing our weekly updates in the city of Dearborn Heights. Uh, in my message in 20, early uh, 2022, we talked about uh, the positive cases uh, here in Dearborn Heights. We're still the fifth uh, highest numbers at Wayne County. We've experienced week to week jump of 600 cases last week. And this week it still, it holds about the same number. While Amicrom um, it does appear to be less severe than Delta, uh, so we're seeing some of those cases also in Dearborn Heights, but uh, with, if you're vaccinated, it's uh, less severe uh, to the people. So please, uh, I encourage all the residents, please be safe. If you're sick, you know, stay at home. Uh, if you know that you're positive, stay at home and uh, don't go in public. And, uh, you know, please, you know, seek medical help if, you, uh, if you're feeling any symptoms. We have several stations here in Dearborn Heights that you can get uh, COVID testing. Um, we can post that on our website uh, or our Facebook when we get the details. I know there's few. Uh, there's one site that's opening up here uh, on Warren, uh, not too far from the city hall, and there's a couple locations uh, on uh, Ford Road, just uh, west of Telegraph. Uh, for the city council, we had uh, uh, we had a meeting uh, this uh, last week, and uh, we uh, we actually uh, have. Uh, a council chair and a council chair pro tem. So the, our new council chair this uh, for the for the next two years will be uh, Councilman uh, Dave Abdullah, and uh, council chair pro tem is uh, Ray Musket. I want to congratulate both of them, and I also want to welcome our two council members, uh, new council members uh, uh, right now, which will be uh, Councilwoman Nancy Breyer, a uh, good, good friend, and also uh, uh, Councilman Hassan Ahmad. He's also another good friend. I welcome both of them also, and I look forward to working with this new council. Uh, I'm feeling very positive that it's going to be a great uh, council, and um, we talked a lot you know, uh, right after the elections about uh, uh, our expectations, how to propel our city forward. So uh, I'm looking forward to working with them, and uh, congratulations to all of them. So for the Ecorse Creek, uh, we actually gonna put out for bed to have a drone be flown over the Ecorse Creek here in the next uh, probably month or so. And uh, we're gonna take some shots of every uh, uh, street over the Ecorse Creek just to see um, the actual drainage going into the creek uh, to see how much sediment build up in that area. And we're gonna map it and then we'll know exactly uh, what areas we need to work on so that's going to happen here in the next month. Uh, once we put the RFP, we have a company in mind that is going to do that. So it's going to save the city a lot of money. Instead of going um, uh, walking the creek, we can actually uh, do uh, drone uh, um, shots of it, which is, you know, the new technology. That's, that's amazing. So uh, Monday is going to be MLK uh, day. Um, so we're going to have a walk. Um, it's going to start from uh, OW Best. And it's going to go all the way to the fire station on Telegraph at Annapolis uh, Street. Uh, the walk is going to start at 3 p.m. I will be there. You know, please come and join us. Uh, the event will be sponsored uh, by the Community and Cultural Relations uh, Commission and also uh, District 7 schools. So in observance of Martin Luther King, uh, the City Hall will be closed on, uh, on Monday. And... Uh, but emergency services uh, will remain the same. So for the trash pickup, uh, this weekend is not going to be a holiday. Uh, uh, so the trash will be, be picked up on time. So put your trash out when you're scheduled to put it out. The last item I want to talk about uh, is the road work. There's going to be a, a road work on Telegraph uh, between Vanborn and Dartmouth. So uh, just be careful. Try to avoid that area when they start uh, working on that street. And also Heinz Park. Uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be on Ford Road and Heinz Park area. There's going to be some road work over there too, so there's going to be delay, so be careful there as well. So if you try to avoid that area, that would be good. Again, if you're feeling sick, you know, please stay at home uh, and you know, seek your doctor, talk to a doctor, see what's, you know, if everything's going well, and, you know, try to, uh, you know, stay, stay home so you're not affecting, you know, anybody else. Uh, please stay safe and have a blessed and a safe holiday.